What's up everybody, welcome back to Kagzi Gaming for a new episode of Tier 13 War and Legendic Base Reviews. And of course with Tier 13 Base Link. If you want to support the channel or just to see secret bases from the top players in the world, check the channel membership out now. If you're new to the channel and you want to see base layouts and attack strategies, hit that subscribe button now and turn the bell for all notifications so you won't miss anything in the future. So for today the base is anti 3 star design when the TH is outside of the base. I really like the design. The scatter shots are spread around, infernos are all on single, the expos are on air and pretty much the expos are close to each other. It's a compact expos, they are not spread around but the base is pretty good. And you will see in the next after the speed build, I will see you and I will show you the replays. Enjoy! So this is the first replay starting with some balloons and a battle blimp right away. Don't know why he started with a battle blimp, the single inferno took him in a few seconds. That's why I always say before you start the attack watch the base, look where the single infernos are, scatter shots, the position of the clan castle, everything, just see before you attack. 
He could save his battle blimp and maybe use it later on instead of wasting it. He pretty much took Teslas and that's it. Now using one archer there and starting with the queen only. Not sure why he's not using the healers, okay. Don't know why he waited so long. Now using a raid spell, save this queen. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I didn't use the ability, so very good for him. But it's only one expo on her. She's not in the range for the rest. Now deploy the king with two, three witches. So maybe he wants to start the fun, start the attack from the middle there. Or not. Yeah. Needs to use the jump spell using all the wall breakers, but with an open space, they will just go around. Needs to know it. And where they are going now, looks like they are going inside, okay, using the Grand Warden ability. Definitely too early, needs to be at least near the scatter shot. Let's see if he can take the town hall. Scatter shot still alive, the single inferno are, is on the uh, balloon. And yeah, he's taking the town hall, securing the second star, definitely not deserved. It probably should be one star. I don't understand how we got uh, two. Pretty lucky there. So only wizard, two baby dragons, and another wizard, and a minion. We can take decent amount of overall damage now. With his remaining troops. Using one baby dragon. Needs to use the other one. Yeah, on the top there. The Tesla will get him. Yeah. So 70%, two stars. Okay. Pretty nice. Now for the second replay, we got 5 yetis, 5 healers with a battle blimp, starting with a king with 2 witches. 4 earthquake spells with a jump and a siege barracks. Needs to funnel the other side and then it will use the jump spell I think in the middle there. Okay, starting with a siege barracks on the left corner. Not sure he needs to use the jump there, he can use it next to the town hall so they can reach the scatter shot as well. Okay, he used it on the left side there. Weird place. Could use it in the front so they will jump over to the town hall easily without any problem. His king going for my queen. Don't think he can take it, the scatter shot is there as well. Ah, he got the ability. Earthquakes on the town hall. Looks like he didn't take the walls behind it. I think he missed one. Grand Warden ability right on time. Very nice. Took the scatter shots. Now pushing inside. Still need to deal with the expos. Look at that damage they are doing. Four of them. Queen is in the range of the eagle artillery. Let's see if she can survive it. Use the ability. Now next to all of the expos, but they are targeting some of two of them on the balloons. Now they are all on her. The healers can't take it. And she's dead. World champion pushing. Can't survive as well. It's only one expo, but now they are joining forces. Maybe on the single inferno, okay? So one minute to clean. So only the bowler left. He's doing very small amount of damage. So I think he will take it and that's it. Can he take it as well? Yeah, 77%, two stars. Nicely done. And now for the last replay for today. Dragons with balloons, starting with the royal champion, the king and the queen. So wants to funnel. Clearing the right corner of the base and the left corner. Oh no. What is doing? So why did he deploy all the heroes on the top corner there? Starting from the worst position, you can start with that base because of the blowers. They are pretty much pushing them back. Using the Grand Warden ability. He could get much more if he just started from the left or right side. Freeze on the Eagle Artillery. Got one freeze left. Probably will use it on a scatter shot. Let's see. No. Again on the Eagle Artillery. 
Don't know why. So he got only two dragons, I think. Yeah, two dragons, that's it. Just because he started from a bad position. Going for the Eagle Artillery, the Queen is still alive. 10 seconds left. And yeah, it will be 65%. Yeah, 65%, two stars, very nice. That's it for today's episode, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next of Clash of Clans video. See ya!